Hey everybody, John Marion here. Today I want to show you my mini biochar manufacturing assembly line. That's right. Before I show you the final step of how I'm making biochar, I want to briefly go over uh, the process of making it, of how I learned to do it in my wood burning stove. And the way I do that is I have these pans that are restaurant, this is like a, I think they call this a one-third pan. This one is six inches deep and I recommend that and it fits into my wood burning stove and um, I'll show you a picture of that uh, when I edit this video. But um, this pan is what I use to make the biochar in my wood burning stove and I have a example of it here. This one's ready for uh, ready for action in the stove. It has the wood loaded up in the pan and as you can see it's just you know chunks of wood that are small enough to fit in the pan and um, and one of the keys to making it doing this successfully is to make sure the top could fit on there so that you have a a seal so oxygen can't get in there but allow the gases to escape while uh, it's burning in the wood burning stove. I learned how to do this from a YouTube video and I'm gonna post a link to that video because I, I, I'm not going to show you actually how this works by demonstrating it in the wood burning stove. But suffice to say, it's, it's important that this cover sit on the pan um, completely without the wood you know, keeping it up and leaving a gap in there. And you could see the bottom of the pan has is raised up or pushed down when it's when it's down. So you just need to leave enough on the uh, bottom on the top of the pot uh, pan so that the top fits on there tightly. And then what happens is when the biochar is finished and cooled down, you'll have a complete um, full. I took a bunch of it out, but this is what you'll get: is uh, nice biochar. There's no ash on here at all, and uh, it's just a piece of wood that has been, all the gases have been burned out of it and it's basically just the carbon is left. And so this pan with this cover enables you to do that in your wood burning stove. And then after that is done, um, I just take the biochar out of those pans and I've just been putting it into this pot. And so uh, you can see it just crumbles up nicely. Um, it breaks apart. But one of the one of the things that I've had a hard time, uh, not really a hard time, I, I just, the last step of really making it into a fine powder or smaller pieces, I've seen people on YouTube who crush it, um, and I used a hammer to, to do it a little bit, and I've just been looking for a more efficient way for this final process of making the biochar. And what I found, is going to work really well and what I'm going to demonstrate for you today is using one of these bullet you know shake mixes or um, um, you know to make shakes and to grind up your vegetables and fruits whatever into a um, into a nutritious drink I don't really use this this particular item anymore for that and so I'm using that to to break up my biochar and make biochar powder um, and so this is the blade I'm using. It's a four, four blades in one, and I like the ones that's the blade that sticks up where there's two of them sticking up. It's really made to, to crush ice and, and for some bigger items when you make your smoothie or whatever you're making. But I'm using it to make biochar, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you right now. And I found that you don't really want to load this up and you don't want you know huge pieces in, in there. But I just loaded up maybe a third. I don't really like to go up halfway. Just like that um, is fine. And then, like you're making a smoothie, you just put it together. And yep, I'm all plugged in. And take a look. Now hold it up to the light through the window. Hopefully you can see that. Where in the bottom there's a dusting of biochar. 
And if I open this up, you'll be able to see some dust come up out of it. And I don't like to do this indoors anymore. This I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. But on the bottom there is uh, some nice, fine biochar. And so <clears throat> what I'm doing, I've got some in here. This is probably easier to see because the dust has settled on this one. I have a cup that has one uh, biochar that I ground up earlier. And I'll pour it in there and you can kind of see, ooh, it's making more dust than I really want to make inside. But you can see it's anywhere from a powder to a uh, to bigger size granules. And if I took the time to um, keep grinding it up, I can get probably all of it into a powder. But there's something else that uh, this system benefits. This system has a benefit for because these tops. I have a couple of tops that came with the uh, the bullet that have different size um, holes on the top of the the uh, cup holder. So uh, you know the small one here on this side is the finest of these three tops, and I can use that to sprinkle the biochar when I do a transplant or um, you know when I need a small amount, or if I want bigger bigger chunks to come through, I could use the other side of that cup uh, top or the bigger one. So uh, that will come in handy. My, I think most of the biochar I'm going to use, I'll, I'll um, have in a large enough quantity that I'll mix it in with some rock dust and uh, I use a garlic powder, um, old garlic powder container for some of the rock dust and I could sprinkle that as well. And I have some rock dust in a minced onion container and that has bigger holes on the top and these things work well for just doing a transplant doing a sm small application of either the biochar using these or the rock dust using those two containers uh, but I have a larger quantity of rock dust and hopefully I'll have a, um, a large enough quantity of biochar that I can mix that in with the rock dust and some um, organic um, well some compost and just kind of amend my soil and spread that on uh, top of my raised bed garden. Uh, no, before spring anyway, I'll do that and uh, let it amend the soil. So anyway, I wanted to show you my mini biochar uh, assembly line and it's working great and I'll follow up another time with uh, the success that I have with this.